Fairfish SA is a community supported fishery. So it relies on any sort of community supported agriculture model where consumers and producers deal directly with each other so that they can rescue value from lengthy supply chains. Fairfish SA currently has a, about a dozen fishes that each contribute product to a local consumer and at the moment we're piloting with restaurants in the CBD in Adelaide um, and about a dozen of those. Uh, we, we like to match one fisher with one restaurant so that a restaurateur can really get to know a local producer, um, deal with them directly um, and it enhances not only the, you know, the, the traceability and the provenance of the fish but both the producer and the consumer get real value because they're avoiding steps in a supply chain that's historically been a little bit long um, in both distance but also a little bit long in time frame. The historical auction model had its pros and cons. Um, one of the pros is that it's a it's a quickish way to, to send fish in. It, it's quite carefree for fishers. They don't have to go to the the uh, the lengths of marketing or, or adding a campaign or branding. Um, but some of the limitations were that they really did lose their story. Um, they weren't able to build a brand um, just because their fish was being sold with so many other fishermen's produce at the same time. Probably one of the, the major issues that the fishers faced with the auction model is that they were really price takers. Um, however the, the auction panned out in the morning was the price they received. They were never present themselves at the auction either. So they'd be relying on either a good day or the previous lots of fish to establish their price. Well, there are two systems that Fairfish relies on to, to sell fish. The first is that we introduce a local producer or a fisher with a restaurateur and we help them to get to know each other and how the fishing practices work, be it you know, inshore net fishing or line fishing. Uh, we, we really introduce the consumers as well to things like the weather so they know when, when fish will be coming in. So on a sunny day like today, you can be pretty sure that your fisher is out on the boat fishing and that helped to just establish a relationship but also to shorten that supply chain. So fishers would either call the chef that they were working with just to let them know what the catch was. Um, they'd send it in via the almost the exact existing supply route, um, although to just be intercepted by your known end consumer rather than going through an auction model and then potentially behind some glass in a supermarket. When you're a consumer in a community supported fishery model, um, you, you're, you have access to not only the, the freshest fish, but also almost what I would call un, unlimited provenance. You, know, you can watch your fish come in in a live stream in social media, which is something that we employ from time to time. Um, you, you know who's catching your fish, you know where it's being caught, and you can, you can watch it being caught. As a consumer, you know that the, the price you're paying directly translates into value for a small scale local producer. So you can be really confident that the people that are producing your fish are really getting all of the value that you're pumping back into, into that product. And generally, those products are from regional communities in South Australia, anywhere from Streaky Bay on the west coast down to Meningi in the southeast.